come back and go to that component. If I press OK under component, since we have a source voltage of around 12 and when I apply, since this is a weak battery, when I apply voltage, that voltage is going to drop to approximately 12 volts. So if it's 12 uh, volts source and if 11 ohm uh, injector, that's roughly around one amp of current flow. So watch this. If I go to my injector and if I apply current under uh, moment, it's showing 11 volts one amp so it measures how much current uh, that load is using and I could select just the latch so I won't be holding it so I could just uh, select latch uh, and press uh, the up button once and it stays on that's 11.1 volts at the load and 0.98 amps that's 980 amps or so 970 amp milliamps I'm sorry and a source of 12 volts. That's roughly to your one amp. So that's great thing about this tool that you actually know how much current that circuit is supposed to uh, use based on how much source voltage the load has. So you don't have to do any calculation. It actually gives you the measurement. So that's one of the features that you can use with this specific tool. All right, so let's use the V500 Pro 2 to uh, activate components on a vehicle. Uh, in this case, I have uh, removed the relay for the radiator fans. The radiator fans are currently off. Uh, terminal 30 is this terminal here. Uh, terminal 30 is usually uh, voltage. So if uh, you could measure here 12.12 .12 volts. At the bottom, you have what we have source voltage of the battery. If I unplug it, I have the 12.2 volt source voltage uh, from the battery and as soon as I touch the, the terminal I get a 12.2 volts and terminal 87 is this terminal here this terminal 87 connects directly to the radiator fans the radiator fan is currently off uh, one of the things about this tool is that if I select the momentary and I hold it I could uh, energize that uh, fan just for a short period of time. So I have to press and hold. As you can see, you have 11 point volts. Look at the amperage slightly increasing. As the amperage is increasing, the fan of the motor will always also be increasing. I have seven amps right now, nine amps. As you can see, the speed of the fan is also changing. And right now we have a total of uh, averaging around 11 amps steady that's 11 amps I notice that the voltage is dropping to 10 volts that's because my battery is weak that's why I'm measuring the 12.12 .12 volts a fully charged battery should be 12.6 volts so I have a weak battery that's why the voltage is dropping at the source voltage and that's how you can uh, energize a component I could also select the latch the latch will energize it for uh, a constant uh, on so if I turn it on notice that I'm not pressing anything this is being energized and as you can see the speed of that fad motor is increasing if I press it on again it'll stop lower motor, uh, radiator fan motor stops. So I can use this tool to energize components uh, such as maybe fuel pumps, uh, starter relays, uh, radiator fans, horn, and other electrical components.